What's good? Mike Osterman here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the fakie bebop. Now, originally the bebop was done from hang 10 stance. You pop the board between your legs, grab the board with your front hand, do a half finger flip, and land in your natural stance. Nowadays, bebops are usually done from the fakie stance, so that's the variation we're going to be focusing on in this video. Now you can learn the bebop on just about any skateboard, but here at Waltz, we design freestyle boards specifically to make tricks like this easier with a custom shape and size that makes the board harder to credit card on. Freestyle wheels, skid plates, and just everything about this board is tuned to tricks like the freestyle bebop. And if you want to learn more about freestyle boards or pick one up for yourself, you can go to waltzskateboarding.com or click on the card in the top right corner. Now, before diving into the bebop, it's super important that you're comfortable with finger flips, both stationary and rolling. Also, ollies, pop shovets. It also helps if you're comfortable with ollie air walks. <laughs> to begin the bebop, you want to roll fakie. Keep in mind that I am regular stance. I like to begin with my trailing foot just ahead of the back truck. And with my leading foot in the center of the nose, pointing 45 degrees toward the direction that I'm rolling. I'll pop the board and begin turning backside, allowing the board to start tilting vertically between my legs. I'll catch the board with my left hand, turning the board counterclockwise and attempting to land with my feet over the bolts. Notice that I am starting in the fakie stance, popping the board between my legs and ending in my natural regular stance. That was a lot, I know. So we're gonna break it down. Just like so many other tricks that we cover in this freestyle trick tip, I like to break the bebop down. I'll kind of break it down into two sections. One is simply popping and grabbing the board. And this is the most challenging part of the bebop for most people. The fakie bebop requires you to turn backside while simultaneously popping the board between your legs. And that can be a lot to think about all at once. So that's what we're gonna practice on its own. Now, when you're practicing this, you want to make sure that when you pop the board, it flips straight up into your hand so that you can get your fingers on the grip tape and your thumb underneath the tail or nose. Notice that when I pop the board, it doesn't start turning like a kick flip or a heel flip. And I'm not grabbing the board with my fingers on the skid plate. Fingers are on the grip tape and the board hasn't begun flipping. It's only rolling vertical. Now, if you find that the board is beginning to pop and also spin or flip under your feet, there are two reasons that might be happening. Number one is that your trailing foot is not disengaging from the board when you pop the bebop. If you've been doing a lot of ollie flip tricks, you probably developed a habit of flicking your front foot after you pop the tail. And that's totally natural. But for the bebop, we're not actually ollieing. When we're doing the trick, we don't want to pop the nose or tail and then flick the board with our back foot. If that trailing foot stays on the board, it could start sending the board into a sort of half cab heel flip rotation. And that might be making it difficult to grab the board properly when doing the pop and grab. To avoid this, start with your shoulders facing the direction that you're rolling and turn your trailing foot and knee in the same direction. When you pop, focus on driving that trailing knee forward in the direction that you're rolling to begin that backside rotation and also to get that trailing foot off of the board. The position of your front foot could also be the reason why your board is flipping. Notice that when I pop the bebop, my leading foot is in the center of the nose. It's not over here on the heel side edge. It's not way over here on the toe side edge. If your foot isn't centered when it pops, it could be causing the board to do a pressure flip by rolling the board sideways as you pop. We want to make sure that we pop straight down, sending the board directly up to our hand. Once you've got a feel for the pop and grab, you can start practicing throwing the board down. And it's less of a throw and more of a slow drop, guiding the board gently back to its wheels. Think about maintaining your grip on the board and slowly guiding it to land with all four wheels down. It might feel silly, but practicing guiding the board down with sort of that half cab caveman, half flip motion will give you a good sense of how the trick's gonna feel when you're in the air. 
Finally, it's just a matter of putting those two parts together, keeping your knees lifted, and landing the bebop. The bebop can be challenging to figure out because of the uncomfortable and unusual way that the board pops between your legs and the amount of time you have to spend in the air waiting for the board to reach your hand. Like so many other tricks that we've talked about in the past, don't try to overcomplicate it by learning everything at once. Break it down, become accustomed to the way that you have to pop the board and grab the board, practice each motion separately, and when it's time to put it all together, you'll have the confidence to put your feet down. If you want more tips on the Fakie Bebop, you can hit up the Waltz Discord or comment below with any questions you have or requests for other trick tips. We love seeing those. And until next time, keep dancing.